Hey there. Well, there's kind of a recurring theme to uh, people demanding that other people look at things a particular way. And this even goes into art. Um, there's a Jackson Pollock painting that was making the rounds on Twitter. And uh, I, I thought the painting was just butt ugly. It was from someone, it's some, I, God, what is Culture Critic, I think is the name of their, uh, their uh, profile. And they were saying, well, you know, if you have to explain why something is beautiful, it, it probably isn't. And uh, I took this painting. It was in kind of mainly browns and beiges. And it, it's the splatter, you know, paint splatter type of, of painting, which can look good depending. Um, and, and I made a comment saying, you know, hey, you know, this kind of art, I can get into it if it has the right kind of color palette. If it's if it's actually visually pleasing to look at, you know, I, I can get into it, you know. So then I made another post right after it saying, well, here, here's an example here. Let's do a color shift. And I took Photoshop and I color shifted it so it was more of kind of blues and purples instead of the beiges. And, uh, man, this just offended so many people. Oh, how dare you? And they, they took Starry, Starry Night. You know, starry, wait, the Starry Night. Anyway, uh, the Van Gogh painting. And they, they, they shifted the tone on that. And I'm just like, yeah, that's, that's funny. But uh, that, that, what, what was the Starry Night is supposed to look like a night sky, right? You know, it's supposed to look like something in particular, the the uh, Jackson Pollock painting doesn't look like it's just paint splatters. I mean, that's all it is. And and I mean, if you're into it, great. But man, to, to actually be offended, to be offended that I pitch shift, I, I, I pitch shift, I, I hue shifted it. Did I say pitch shift last time? Oh, well, um, it's just it's just weird to me. People, there's just so many people out there who want to demand that people look at things a very particular way. You know, it's just so strange. It's such strange behavior. Oh, well, you're, it's as if your thoughts aren't valid unless they can be validated by a bunch of other people. That's weird to me. Yeah, I was further thinking about how well, I mean, I almost made a video last night. I, well, I, I recorded a video, but I, I didn't want to release it. It was just too... I just didn't like it. Um, but, you know, there are things that... There are... There's an ethical and moral code that I follow, and it's not necessarily backed by any particular religion or anything, but if, if I was to say that something is sinful, you know... um. Trying to make people feel like shit, yeah, I, I'd say that's pretty sinful. Um, bragging, I think, is is sinful. Why? Just like if you have something that that is good enough. I mean, if if you have something that's great, then whatever it is you put out or produce or create or whatever should be able to speak for itself. You shouldn't have to brag about it. You know, I mean, try to get people to see it. Sure, that's a little different. That's not the same thing as bragging. And so a music type that I just find detestable most of the time is rap. Because rap is mostly about bragging. and it, Mostly. I'm not saying all of it, but mostly about bragging. And sometimes it's bragging about just some of the stupidest most unintelligent takes on on things and just that's just possible it's just like my god are you that oh and now you're bragging about it oh god how can people just think this is great don't understand i mean maybe it's like the uh, uh the minions that are supposed to make us feel better about Oh, just being as stupid as everyone else. Okay, great. You know, that's some of the, the point of the minions. So you can feel you can feel for those characters because, you know, they're stupid like everyone else. I don't know how to describe it, but um 
So I don't know. I I, I don't know, but I, I I just find most rap to be just absolutely detestable. Because it's just it's just putting up on a pedestal so much of the stuff that I'm I I end up you know personally being proud that I don't represent. So why do people try to force everyone to think a particular way though? What is the deal with that? It just seems like a, a, a some sort of ego problem. I don't know. Anyway, I'll end the video because this is probably pointless. Thanks for watching.